Alright, what's going on guys? Boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to preview the 2023 Stanley Cup Final. That's right, we are down to two teams now, which feature the Vegas Golden Knights and the Florida Panthers. That's right, these two teams will be going against each other in the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, both these two teams have not won their first Stanley Cup. So both of these two teams will get to play uh, for the Stanley Cup, for the first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Now, some of you may be going with Vegas to win. Uh, so, some of you may be going with the Vegas Golden Knights to win the Stanley Cup. Let's go! And then some of you will be going with the Florida Panthers to win the Stanley Cup. All right, let's go! But whoever wins, it will be their first Stanley Cup. In franchise history so uh, definitely can't wait to see that now the Golden Knights are back in the Stanley Cup final uh, for the first time since 2018 since the inaugural season which we all know how that run ended it uh, they lost to the uh, Washington Capitals in five games uh, Panthers back in the Stanley Cup final for the first time since 1996 which they got swept by the Colorado Avalanche um, in 1996. Um, so both of these two teams uh, losing in the Stanley Cup Final uh, their first year. But they look to uh, erase that and win their first Stanley Cup. Now the Golden Knights. Um, you got six players that were on the team uh, that are going to be going back to the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, which are William Carlson, Jonathan Marshall, Riley Smith, William Carrier, uh, Brady McNabb, and let's see, I think I'm forgetting somebody, um, Shea Theodore. So, those are the six players uh, on the Golden Knights who were in the Stanley Cup Final in 2018 who are going to be back in the Stanley Cup Final with the Vegas Golden Knights. Can't wait to see it. Uh, now let's discuss uh, the playoff run for these two teams this year. Uh, I'm going to go with the Florida Panthers first. I'm going to start with the Florida Panthers. Since they had an amazing playoff run. I think their playoff run was better than the Golden Knights. If you ask me. Um, we'll start with the first round against the Boston Bruins. Uh, Boston Bruins. The, they had a historic regular season. Uh, and to top it. They were looking to win the first round against the Florida Panthers. Unfortunately, it did not go in their favor. It did not go the way that they expected uh, as they lose in seven. So, Boston Bruins win their first game against the Panthers. Then the Panthers tied up. And then the Bruins win the next two games uh, going up in the series, three games to one, uh, with the Panthers having their backs against the walls. But, of course, it was Matthew Kachuk who stepped up in game five uh, to force a game six. And then the Panthers... Went all out in game six in that first round. And then Carter Verhage, uh with the OT goal in game seven to eliminate the Burns. That was just amazing to see right there. I mean, it looks like it was going to be a Burns game seven win. But the Panthers, I think they had a last minute goal in the third period. They tied up. Uh, and then Carter Verhage scores in overtime uh, for the Panthers to win that series. And then they would go on to face the Maple Leafs in the second round. In the Stanley Cup playoffs, so uh, Panthers won the first three games, so it looked like it was going to be a sweep for the Panthers against the Maple Leafs, but the Maple Leafs step up in game four, they force a game five back in Toronto, which it will be Nick Cousins scoring the OT goal for the Panthers, and then they move on to the conference final, who will face the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, so Hurricanes and Panthers in the conference finals, uh, and the Panthers... Win the first two games in OT, both OT goals coming from Matthew Kachuk. Uh, and then game three, uh, they will win. And then game four, Matthew Kachuk beating the hero again with the last minute goal uh, in regulation for the Panthers uh, to sweep the Hurricanes and to go on to the Stanley Cup final. So Matthew Kachuk, he's the Panthers' leading goal scorer. Leader in assists, leader in points. He has stepped up in the playoffs when the team needed him the most, especially in the conference finals against Carolina because uh, I did mention he did have those uh, two game-winning goals in overtime and plus the last-minute regulation goal in game four. So he has really stepped up uh, for the team. And the Panthers are where they at because of him, not only because of Matthew Kachuk, but because of Sergei Bobrovsky. Um, 
11 3 0 playoff record, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, where where would the Panthers be without Matthew Kachuk and Sergey Bobrovsky? Who knows? Uh, anyway, time to get to Golden Knights now. So, the Golden Knights, first round matchup against the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, it's a rematch of the conference finals. They beat the Jets in five. They lose their first game at home, which is kind of funny uh, because the Panthers and the Golden Knights, who are in the Stanley Cup final, both lose their first games, um, but they won the series nonetheless. So the Golden Knights lose their first game at home, and then um, they win game two, and then I think game three and game four went to overtime in Winnipeg, and the Golden Knights won both those overtimes going up in the series three games to one, and then uh, they will return home for game five and will beat the Jets in five to close out the series just like they did in 2018 when these two teams matched up in the conference finals. Um, anyway, second round, uh, Golden Knights and Oilers in the second round, which is really interesting if you ask me because you got 2015, the top 20, the top players from the 2015 NHL draft going up against each other, of course. Conor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers, Jack Geico of the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, and it, and should I not mention that this was Jack Geico's first year in the playoffs because we know all those years with the Buffalo Sabres, he missed out on the playoffs with them. This is actually his first playoffs um, of his NHL career. But anyway, Conor McDavid taking on Jack Geico in the second round. Amazing to see. Uh, Golden Knights will win their first game. And then the Oilers would tie it up at one. Uh, game three, Golden Knights lead series two games to one. And the Oilers tied up again, so they're not going away. Game five, game six, of course, Vegas took um, those two games, uh, stopping the Oilers' momentum. They move on to the conference finals, and they will meet a familiar foe, the Dallas Stars, who they faced in the bubble in 2020. Remember that year where COVID impacted all everything including the sports so 2020 was the bubble area 2020 was the covid um was the covid era you know you guys know what i mean but anyway um the stars beat the golden knights uh in 2020 uh in the bubble winning the series in five um but that's not what happened this year in the playoffs um Golden Knights will win their first two games, which those first two games went to overtime, uh, just like the Panthers and the Hurricanes series. Uh, first two games went to overtime. Golden Knights winning them both. And then game three in Dallas now, Golden Knights won that game, went up in the series three games to none. And then game four, which looked like it was going to be a sweep until Jason Robinson stepped up for the Dallas Stars. Uh, and then Joe Pavelski scoring the OT goal uh, to force a game five uh, back in Vegas. Uh, kept the Stars season alive. Um, and Joe and I feel so sorry for Joe Pavelski because he's 38 years old and still has not won a Stanley Cup. So he is getting very old uh, and still has yet to win a Stanley Cup. So I feel so sorry for him. Uh, but game five, we will see the Golden Knights scoring first, and then the Stars tie it, and the Stars. I mean, and then the uh, Golden Knights take the two-one series lead. Stars tie it back up, and then after the Stars tied up at two, it was all tied to Landria. Uh, Ty to Landria scored the game-winning goal in game five to force a game six. He will eventually have the next two goals uh, to lead the Stars to a 4-2 win in game five, uh, forcing the game six back in Dallas. So Ty DeLandria was the hero in game five. Now game six, Golden Knights snapped. They just snapped because they thought they were going to sweep the Stars, uh, but the Stars Force a game five, they force a game six. Uh, we thought we were going to see our stars uh, reverse sweep, just like for the Boston Celtics series. I know it's a hockey channel, but I'm trying to compare it to that. Just like for the Boston Celtics series, uh, we thought we were going to see Jason Tatum and the Celtics uh, come back in the series against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. But the Miami Heat snapped like that. 
They beat the Celtics, and that's why they're in the finals against the Nuggets. Uh, same thing for the Golden Knights. Um, they just snapped. They were like, you know what? We are done. Y'all are not going to get a reverse sweep. And we... Um, and they actually shut them out too, six nothing. So six nothing shutout uh, for the Golden Knights, and they go on to the Stanley Cup final, and they take on the Florida Panthers. Uh, the leading goal scorer is William Carlson. Uh, the assist leader is Jack Eichel, and he's also the leader in points. Uh, like I said, when I talked about the Panthers, Matthew Kachuk was the team leader in goals, assists, and points. So he has just been a beast uh, for the Florida Panthers. Uh, the Panthers had a better power play and a better penalty kill. Uh, so if I were the Golden Knights or if you're a Golden Knights fan, uh, I would be careful of that power play and that penalty kill because uh, they do have a better penalty kill. They do have a better power play. Um, so I'll be on the lookout for that. But um, the Panthers and the Heat, like I said, I'm still comparing it, guys. Uh, they have a chance to make history. Miami Heat. Can, and the Florida Panthers could win the championship uh, for the first time. Um, for the first time, they can win. They can both win the championships for Florida. And if they both win, if they both pull it off, that would be cool for the amazing of Florida, for the uh, city, I mean, for the state of Florida to see uh, if that happens. If the Miami Heat uh, can win the NBA championship against the Nuggets, and if the uh, Panthers can win the Stanley Cup against the Golden Knights. That will be cool for the state of Florida to see um, if that happens. But who knows? Anything can go in the playoffs. Um, and, yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So just, you know, a little short preview. Uh, I think the goalie matchup in the Stanley Cup final will be Sergei Bobrovsky versus Aiden Hill because those two goalies are just amazing. Uh, but, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, Hit it with a like, hit it with a subscribe button. Can't wait for game one of the Stanley Cup final. It should be a good one. I, I got Florida winning the series in, I think, six. Maybe they'll get it done in six. I know it's not going to be a sweep because um, these two teams are just amazing to watch. I can't doubt the Golden Knights. They've been in the Stanley Cup final before. Um, but I got Florida winning in six or seven. See if they try and pull it off. They had an amazing playoff run already. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for real. I know I just uh, keep talking and have some more thoughts. But anyway, see you guys next time.